So the last couple knives I tried from this company, I said were the best knives I tried from that company at that time. Now, after trying these, especially this one, this knife outbeats everything that they have ever done by a landslide, an absolute landslide. And we're gonna save the best for last. We're gonna check this one out first. These are two very different knives. This one is quite a bit smaller than the next one. And it is mega lightweight. Like you almost feel like you don't even have anything in your hand. There is just such heavy milling on the inside, beautiful milling pattern on the titanium scales. This sheep's foot blade has a deep hollow grind. And let me just say this, especially the next knife, the reason why I'm saying that is that it feels like they went through every single little detail on both of these knives, especially the next one with a fine tooth comb. Like they didn't leave any stone unturned and I can appreciate that. Yes, I have a couple little nitpicks, but you know, nothing to, that I'm really even going to care about, especially, you know, how much I like these. Um, but everything from like the, the way the detent breaks to the type of jimping they chose to the space and the leverage you have onto the deployment deployment options they chose with the detent they picked. Um, you know, every single little thing, even down to the geometry, nice deep hollow grind on this 20 CV sheep's foot blade, great access to the lock bar, ultra smooth action. And if Migoron, if Migoron progresses the way they've progressed from day one till now, if they do that for the next year or two, I can't imagine where they're going. I really can't because a lot of companies, you know, I get a lot of companies knives and I give a lot of feedback and a lot of companies take criticism well. Some don't, some do, but you don't really see, I mean, you do, you see them try to improve and improve and improve, but some companies, man, some companies really take it to heart and it seems like they really, really try to make their, their tools better. Now we're going to bring back this one here in just one second. I want to get to this one because this one's my favorite, but you can see the size difference here, man, quite a bit different. This thing is much larger than this one in every way. They're just two completely different knives. Um, even though they have, you know, a little bit of a similar style with that hollow grind. But again, they did everything perfect on this. This is by far my favorite Migron, hands down by far. And you know what's cool about this is that I lost my last one, which was my favorite, which was the Flix 2, which I do like this more. I want to be clear, I like this one more. Um, the Flix 2, I can't find for some reason. I don't know where what happened to it. I'm freaking out. But... This has an M390 dual ground spear point blade, hollow here, flat here, beautiful geometry, nice thick robust tip for poking and it's going to do good for utility cuts but you have a nice thin slicey edge for, for cutting. The front flippers jimping is exactly where you want it. The perfect amount of detent, the perfect jimping, the perfect leverage point. Same thing with this whole deployment, it just lands exactly where you want it to has the exact amount of sharpness you want it to, has the exact amount of detent you want it to, the ergonomics, absolute hand melting. These are so such good ergonomics. You know, you can use this just like even the little one too. You know, you can use this in any direction and it's going to be comfortable because of those neutral ergos. Now, with the big one, you know, obviously it's going to be quite a bit heavier. Um, it still does have tons of milling on the inside, so it does have a lot of weight relieving. I love this milling pattern over the over the face or over the scales. This one's slightly contoured, but it's mostly flat. The small one is contoured. Both of them are just extremely well done. You know, um, wow. I, I'm very impressed with Migron right now. Like this just takes it to a whole nother level for me with these guys. Um, the, the lock bar access is great. Uh, I even kind of like the sound of this thing. It has like a thwack. Um, the only nitpicks, let me go over a couple little nitpicks just to get them out of the way. So one, and it has to do with just this one, they you put the stop pin in the closed position where I say don't do it. 
Um, I know sometimes it's difficult to do a knife design without putting it there, but it's just it lands right behind the edge and I want to be able to cut choils in and stuff. You have a decent plunge grind kind of, but I would like to see it done better. You know, you can... You can get, you will get a, a couple sharpenings in there before you hit, but it'd be nice if they move that back a little bit. But the thing is, though, is that if I wanted to cut my own in, I can't, see, because the stop pin's in the way. It'll ruin the closing. This one has a little bit better sharpening choil, the bigger one. You can see the plunger end starts here and ends here. So you do have plenty of life to sharpen off with this one. I usually like it a little bit bigger, but it's fine. This one does work. Um, and they didn't put anything in the way because this has an internal stop pin, which is another freaking thing I love. I, that's the, my favorite way to do a stop pin. So it's like, man, they took pretty much most of the things that I love about it, a good knife that's very well done on a premium, you know, with premium materials. They, they pretty much, like I said, uh, went through everything with a fine tooth comb which is very impressive. The only other thing I will say, and this has to do with both of these, and I've said this, so this is still something that Migron needs to work on, but but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm being patient <laughs> because they're just knocking everything else out of the park, is the cutout for the lock bar. This needs to go on the inside like this. Don't put it on the outside. See how this has a nice smooth surface? The cutouts on the inside, that's how these should be. But see, these are on the outside, which makes it to where when your pants are going in, they're gonna skip over this, especially when you have this type of texturing. So what you could do is put this on the inside and you could leave a space underneath here without no none of this texturing, but I think the texturing would be just fine without this. Now, don't get me wrong, the clip works okay. I, you know, it's, it's not a horrible clip. It doesn't sit there, it's not crazy, right? But this is just something that I think is good for all companies to do especially if they have texturing on the handles under the clip you know just move that lock bar access out because it just takes one more thing away from in you know something being an issue now anything else so i have nothing nothing else ta hardware all the way around except for the steel lock bar insert like i said heavy duty milling i love this this knife right here is just my style all the way around from the shape, the ergonomics, the geometry, the action, the everything. This is my style knife. And I think a lot of yours too. The price, just a little over 200 bucks, which I think is a great price for these. This is like 209, this is 215. I'm not mad at that, I like that. Um, and Migron usually does come in at a good price, which I always appreciate. I never feel like I'm getting my head bitten off, you know, with the price. Um, now uh, you see a lot of other companies coming in quite a bit higher with price and in many cases don't even give you as much so i'm very happy with that price and you know like i said migron usually does come in at a good price even their most premium knife the arma that's an overbuilt massively overbuilt knife in premium materials and it's very well done very similar to these very very well done but that's, you know, an overbuilt knife. So you're using quite a bit more materials, you know, premium materials to make it. And when you look at other companies, you know, knives that are similar, they always come in more. So Migron seems like they always come in under the competition, which, which you know, hey, <laughs> who doesn't like that? I watched Stasa23, because um, he has this one already. I watched him check it out. And... I heard him saying good things about it. So like, you know, I, I had a good feeling about it, but I honestly, I did not expect it to be as good as it is. I really didn't. So shout out to Migron. Migron is just absolutely kicking ass and I, I, I'm here for it. I love it. Work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.